Hi folks, welcome to a remote shoot. We're at the uh, South Central uh, PA Horde. By the way, you guys want to see a cool horde? I'm at my son's house out in Pennsylvania, but the farmer across the street from him, he's got a great horde down there. Yeah, let me zoom in for you. See, there's a bunch of it over there. I don't know if you can hear the rooster crowing. A little more. Anyway, yeah, so that's my son's view. Anyway, folks, I um, hit the flea market today and What's that called? Thomasville, um, the one in Thomasville, Pennsylvania. Something fair. I'll put it in the title. That'll work. And you guys know I love the dollar deals. So I picked up a Ferris wheel, kind of a Christmassy thing. It was a dollar, or um, I think that's a Ferris wheel. And this here is a carousel. It was a dollar, plays music. Um, the backpack, I kind of needed it, so I paid the two bucks for it. Um, I picked up a engine, cylinder, um, brake cone, KD tools. This was five bucks, and it's hardly been used, and it has the spare um, shoes, stones, so that was cool. Screwdrivers. Some were 50 cents, some were a dollar. I think this Stanley was a dollar. I think this uh, Power Torque was 50 cents. I think this long one, good for changing tires, you know, round it all up nice. I think it was 50 cents. These um, cheap wrenches, 8 and 10. I got um, 10 of these for two dollars so they were 20 cents each and I also found some Honda motors I picked up the three of these the two Honda motors and the Kawasaki they were a buck this compression tester and this um, cylinder tester for uh, bad valves this will actually fit my Hondas um, this isn't quite the right size, but all of this was three bucks. The compression tester was Sears. Um, the watch was three bucks. It's a G-Shock, G-Shock Casio. Um, headlight was three bucks, and does the red and the blue. Um, we used to call these battery pliers. I don't know what you guys call them. They were a buck. Uh, vice grips, a buck. Um, these were like 50 cents, this guy. And there should be another one around. I might have already used it. The light bulb, LED, was a buck. I got this thing about red light bulbs. Soldering iron. Two bucks. Got a thing for soldering irons too. Whenever I see them, I can get them cheap. I always pick them up. I don't know why. I got a million of them. Hose, 50 cents. Gloves or mittens. They were five bucks. So I figured they'll be good to have. And that's about it. So I was I was actually pretty good. It's actually um, uh, pretty good about not buying too much. So there's that. And the pumps. So I spent some more time working on the pumps. And this uh, Doramax here, um, we really wanted to get it back to his um, boss. Um, seems that they've kind of ruined a bunch of these. 
this one's still good, but because they let the pumps run dry and then they let them overheat. So um, we got a bunch of these to replace them. These are a buck each at Lowe's. Um, we're unfortunately gonna have to Teflon tape them. They wanted to get this engine running so I bought Predator and it was um, you know $99 this month's Insider Club thing so I bought a whole Predator engine and I tagged the recoil off of it you can see how it's kinda crooked so this one runs now and this one runs so these two are ready to go so he's gonna get those back immediately this one's completely rock hard seized and this one when I took the plug out and pulled it not only um, gas came out but quite a bit of water came out of it so this one's gonna need a little bit more attention turns out um, this one and this guy, the seized one, the two seized ones is when I started working on them. Turns out both of them were submerged. My son, I said, you know, asked the story and started describing it. And he goes, oh, those two were submerged. So um, it looks like he's going to get two back. Um, and... Um, one of them, this one could probably be fixed, but it's going to need a little bit more love and attention. And uh, this one here that's rock solid seized, um, this one's probably dead. So that's the Doramax pile of pump story. My sons and I were out riding the uh, Warriors, which is a lot of fun. I deliberately transferred, made sure there were three things to ride here so you have the two Baja Warriors and the, uh, the Lakota so we were all just uh, beating around on these things it was fun right it's uh there it's nice to have toys and it's nice to have it so that when uh, you want to go riding everybody has a toy anyway folks I want to thank you all for coming out here with me to um, watch or coming here to watch and comment and subscribe please keep it all up I, in, I enjoy the comments just from a spring point of view some of you guys are a little further along but you see the white um, like the peach trees are flowering out here you can see quite a bit of green off in the woods so his his spring is definitely ahead of my spring Anyway, folks, once again, thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.